everybody. <laughs> okay, we are going to start with a project that I have gotten four dreams about. And um, one of those I've already made. It was a um, custom design for a client who is going to the country of Israel. And so the Lord showed me the design and I've made that for her. I'll post a picture of it uh, at some point in time. Uh, right after I did that, or while I was working on the commission piece, uh, the Creator gave me another piece to make, and I thought, wow, that's two in a, with the same kind of title. I have completed that one, and then that was the turquoise one. And now, in a dream last night, I got two more and how the design should look. So here's my beads. <laughs> These are porcelain and they're chunky, very, very chunky, but oh my gosh, the glaze on them and the designs on them are absolutely stunning. There's 16 of each. I have sorted them by, uh, kind of by the pattern and color that's on them, darker shades together, lighter shades together. Um, so I'm getting ready to start the layout on this and I will get back with you. Okay, this is going to be my basic layout. This will be the top of the necklace right here and there'll be some beads at the top to make it more comfortable on the neck. But this will be the main focal coming down across the chest. And then these two rows right here will gather together down into one and they'll be pretty close together um, and it'll make a two strand down the front of the chest down past the breast line. Not sure how many of these I will use. Once I get into it I'll know how long it's going to be and, and we'll just kind of decide where we think it ought to hit. Uh, I'm thinking probably 34 maybe, somewhere around in there, so I'll let you know when I get there. Here we go! Alright, so I'm back, and what I've decided to do is I am going to use these amazing pieces of wood right here, these funky shaped pieces. They're going to be my accent beads in between and to give a little pop of light like we were talking earlier I am using these bead caps to flank each side of these pieces of porcelain which will secure also the center bead so that is my plan now here's my dilemma I'm up here and I am short about 20 bead caps because uh, these bead caps are pretty large and I'm short 20 but I'm over here and I've got a whole bunch of silver ones like that. So what I've decided to do is I am going to change the color of the bead cap. So I am using a, um, a thing called Rub and Buff. It's a, let me get it in here. There you go. Rub and Buff. And um, I'm using this to change the color of the bead caps to gold. Uh, luckily, I don't need that many, uh, so we'll keep moving. This is not a shiny gold, it's a gold leaf. And if you buff it out, it winds up being a little shinier. It's not the exact color of the bead cap that I originally have, but as you can see, but the shine of the silver is off and I'm going to be using the ones I changed the color on down this strand that goes straight between the bus line and goes down. So we'll be using them right there so they won't be quite as noticeable. Uh, but anyway around they'll still be gold and I don't mind the different shades of gold uh, simply because of the wood that I'm using. So anyway, I've got a task ahead of me here to change about 20 of these into gold. <laughs> Law, such a large time, but there is a solution for everything. So be patient. 
look for it. Be back in a minute. Well, here we go. All right, I've done 20 of these little guys. You can see the difference between those that I've worked on and those that I haven't. So I've done 20. I'm gonna stop there to see if I've got enough. I did do front and back. Um, and some of you guys probably are wondering what you do with this stuff. But anyway, you put just a little bit either on your finger or a little brush. I used a toothbrush in this case. And, um, or a little sponge of some kind and you dab it on there and work it in and then you take a soft cloth or whatever and buff it out if you if you want the shininess is which I do want so I'm getting ready to buff some of these out and make them a little shinier I'm just gonna use a paper towel and see how that does if not I'll get a cloth but um, anyway getting ready to buff all these puppies out and then we'll see where we go from there bye Okay, y'all, look at this beautiful sight. Oh my goodness, we got all of these gold caps now. Oh, I love it when a plan works. So here we go. Here's the original ones. And here are the ones I just changed the color of. I did do front and back just in case a little edge of silver would pop out, but I did do front and back. Um, it is a little time consuming if you're going to be doing this many small items if you're doing something large it may not be as crazy but anyway it was worth it i'm excited i can move forward huh? i love it when a plan works okay guys i'm excited about what you're doing too so even though i can't see it i'm still excited about it so let's all move forward here we go Okay, I'm getting ready to start stringing, and I decided instead of doing two separate sides, I'm going to combine them all into one. So I've got one long strand of heavy-duty beading wire. So I'm going to start up here at the top. Come on down, come on down, come on down, do all my caps. And then when I get here to connect this piece into the main part, uh, I'm going to add some of these little yellow wooden beads you see right here to make the, uh, the, let me see if I can do this, hold on, because I am not good, ah, there we go, to make the transition between this and this, <laughs> I'm going to use this little guy, maybe a couple, and then I'm going to come down here, and this right here is a um, spacer. So I'm gonna be putting that every two beads, as you can see, to hold this section in place because I want it to kind of, um, you know, be stationary. And then I will loop the thread through this bottom right here, right there. And the thread will come around here and go into here. And then it's gonna come all the way up this way. So I'm making one big, huge loop right here, like this. So the thread will start on the orange side, go all the way down, connect into the, this side, go all the way down, loop at the bottom of that one into the green side, and then I'm going to come all the way up and loop it right there and go up here. Hope that didn't give you motion sickness. 